Where will we go? Jamaica meeting old friends. Grand Cayman. Havana, Cuba, where we hired a 60s Chevy and rode the open air bus. And danced with the mariachis. Then on to Mexico to look around and to visit the old Mayan ruins. And wildlife. And more shopping. Turks and Caicos Islands. Bermuda. The Azores. Malaga in Spain. and Seville, ending up in Palma, Mallorca. And then a weekend in York with my sister. Fasten your seat belts. The problem we have when we go on a cruise is that I have to come from Hong Kong to the UK and Rachel has to come from New York. My trip this time is via Dubai to Manchester on Emirates Airlines. Significantly cheaper than flying Cathay Pacific and certainly better. In the distance, the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building. The downside is a two-hour layover and having to suffer what has to be the world's most inefficient airport. My ticket stated Zone A and when I got there I was told, it's Zone B. The person adding, the ticket is always wrong. No problem, it only took half an hour to walk there. The same thing happened on the way back when my ticket said B and my gate was in fact C. The plane to Manchester is the Airbus A380. We'd flown a Boeing 777 into Dubai from Hong Kong significantly inferior to the Airbus. The food is very good. We are soon landing in Manchester. Met Rachel in Manchester I'd booked the Premier Inn overnight. I've had a 17-hour flight and Rachel a 6-hour flight. Today we're flying 9 hours to Jamaica to join the ship. I'm sure it will be worth it. Then off to the airport, Rachel looking great as usual. Checked in, got a coffee. Rachel is just mine some stuff and uh, all set for Montego Bay. We had a whole row each to ourselves and were able to get some sleep.
did a crossword as usual and prayed hard as we're on the Dreamliner, the world's the most dangerous plane. Apparently Boeing is more interested in profits than safety. Well, according to their engineers anyway. Rachel made friends quickly, which made the flight appear to go quicker. That is Cuba down there, the coast of Cuba. We shall visit Cuba later. Seeing it from the plane was great. I lived in Jamaica for two years, from 1972 to 1974. So it's just 50 years since we left. And I can tell you it was an amazing experience to be back again. We've arranged to visit friends here when the ship stops here again for a whole day next week. For me, it was a super thrill, and I have to say, tears were in my eyes as memories flooded back of our memorable two years here. We were then transported from the plane straight to the ship. As the suitcases will arrive and be put outside our cabin in about an hour. So I enjoyed having a look at Jamaica again. I've travelled through here many times in the past and it brought back memories of wonderful days. Protect your head, don't end up dead. Then we actually passed a breadfruit tree, more memories. We soon reached the ship, the Explorer 2, our home for the next three and a half weeks. cabin, our first view of Mobe as it's known here, and Rachel is unpacking, we had hoped to take a stroll ashore, but the time was short. So we simply got ready for dinner. Honeydew, melon, and papaya. And pancakes. Our adventure had begun. This will be fun.